Hello friends and fellow gamers, MKXJump here, and today we're going to be checking out this week's event for Idle Heroes. We've got a Soul Awakening Gala and a Soul Awakening Session, along with the usual stuff you'd expect from a Profit Up event. It seems as well that we're getting normalized things that were originally considered special events, but it seems now if you look at the last few Profit Up events, GH Games have been pushing down with some additional content which might become regular, which would be kind of cool to see, and means some really important implications for spenders, as well as free-to-play players. So we'll be talking about that as we move forwards. As well, if you want to, by the way, help out the channel, you can do through Patreon. It's a way you can financially support the content I make here and in return unlock yourself privileges such as the ability to access account review signups on Tuesdays through our Discord and Twitch. If you don't know about that, it opens up at 9 p.m. GMT, which is universal time for those of you that don't know GMT, it's UTC. And at 9 p.m. on a Tuesday, that all opens up and you can go ahead and sign up. And if you do get a sign up in in time, you can have your account reviewed with me where we go one to one and chat. So that's something that's available to patrons. It's also available for people who sub on Twitch as well. And there's a few other ways you can get it for free without using money. But more information on that you can find through our Discord in the link below. And if you want to consider backing me on Patreon, hit that link up there in the top corner and you can be just like this week's new pledger, Bolt. So congratulations to you, man, for joining us on our community's journey. Anyway, folks, let's go ahead and check out this week's event for Idle Heroes. Every day for logging in, we're going to get ourselves five sweet lollipops and profit orbs. So that's pretty cool. Go ahead, pick them up. That one profit orb and five lollipops should hopefully help you either with this event with the lollipops, or maybe even you're going to save that profit orb for another profit orb event. It's generally what free to play players like to do, but even spenders might want to do that as well. So that's totally cool. We'll be talking about this event and you can hopefully make that value judgment for yourself based on my advice. Some things to know for this week, Force War is coming back. So go ahead and make sure you sign up. Some people will hate this as Force War was such a disaster last time it showed up. The map was so imbalanced so hopefully dh games have fixed a few of the issues with the first time but the boss fights are fun but that will be an opportunity i suppose to test against that with a vulcan or even my a tier asbadel so there's a few things to look forward to there on my end and hopefully barry's end as he's going to be testing the vulcan so that'll be pretty cool to go ahead and see so that's one reason to subscribe. And we've also got the New Year celebration, which is coming to an end. So if you haven't already gone in and done all of this, make sure you have and cleaned it up, go and complete it. And as well, don't forget, you can still go ahead and swap items and artifacts if that's something you wanted to do. And finally, of course, you can go ahead and keep claiming these things, get the coins, get the rewards. So just make sure you're doing this for the final day as it has just carried on over as it does have stuff to do with event drops which ends right at the end so they decided to give us an extra day to cash this in so i'm definitely taking advantage of this extra day myself and hopefully you guys can as well so let's go look at the events for this week that's the big stuff first of all we've got a soul awakening session this is an opportunity for people to compete with their awakens and the people who get the most points will be given the most rewards no doubt we'll get ourselves all the way up to wonder of brilliance meaning that anybody that reaches 200 points in the soul awakening gala will get themselves a b minus awakening crystal which you can use to get yourself a guaranteed b minus or higher hero now that doesn't mean it's going to have all b stats you can end up with some something atrocious which has like an a and two c's i've seen that it's disgusting but maybe you can get lucky and actually get a decent b copy also because it cuts out all e's d's and c's it actually increases your chance of getting something that could be an a tier right so it's actually a pretty decent crystal to pick up if you're lucky the top 100 people will get a b or if you're in the top 50 that's upgraded to a b plus and it just keeps on going and you might think, whoa, this is a great way to get an S hero. But no, you've got to compete with other people. And the way to do Awakens is in the Soul Temple by spending money for your contract starry gems. Ah, so buying these starry gems or prism starry gems or contract starry gems is going to be an absolute pain because it just turns it into a whole spending composition and who can pretty much go into the storage and purchase spend the most and awaken the most and to make that even crazier i'm going to go right to the bottom we've got this thing called the retiring gift meaning you get added bonuses for getting rid of e's and d's which means a d plus is actually giving a higher retire bonus than you'd expect from a c minus so that's really cool but it also means that if you've already gotten rid of these guys it's kind of a pain because some of you maybe never anticipated dh games were going to do this in fact I never anticipated DH Games were going to do this. In fact, nobody anticipated they were going to do it until they leaked it 24 hours ago. So that's a little bit interesting. But hey, you can get double rewards from these things. So if you've got some lying around, that's going to be more contract story gems for you. And it's definitely a reason to get rid of your E's and D's now if you haven't already. 
and that caps out at 2,000 bonus contract story gems and can be upped all the way to 10,000 if you do manage to get that far. It should be pretty uh, difficult to get to 2,000 as a free-to-play player. You might hit it, I don't know, but it depends how lucky you get, really. I mean, it's E's and D's, I mean, like, come on, they hardly give anything normally, but I might be totally underestimating how easy it could be to get to 2,000, so that remains to be seen. But you can see there's this locked section here, which goes all the way up to 10,000. How do you get that? Well, we've got ourselves, as always with events, a fancy, fancy value package. So we've got the Lollipop Factory package. This unlocks that added bonus from there. So that's nice. That's how you get that extra 8,000 in contract story gems if you have the E's and D's to back it up. There's your big if statement. But on top of that, you are getting 2,500 prism story gems, which is nice because these are, of course, going to be used to pick up yourself uh, either just awakens or you can use them for starry gems which you can then use in the auction house which is typically what i do with them i don't know why if something could be used in the auction house you'd want to use it for awakens that's now pretty much the best value place for me is the auction house picking up eight tiers from there is just the best choice rather than trying to high roll i don't want to compete with whales i don't want to do that crazy stuff i just want to get them clean get them good when a good priced one shows up on top of that, 10,000 gems is pretty nice, 200 glorious relics. You are getting the lollipop privilege, and you're getting times three rewards from the snow moon privilege, which we'll look at in a second, and double rewards from the fantasy factory. So if you don't know what fantasy factory is, it's where you are given pretty much some puzzles where you can go ahead and throw in these shapes. As you do, you'll clear different areas just like this, and that might look messy, but it actually tessellates with a nice shape like that that's just come up there. And you go ahead and just try and get these pieces to fit together in the nicest possible ways and actually clear this out and the more optimally you do this the better you are able to clear this with minimal lollipops so you get the most out of your lollipops you get more of these honey stars because you get a honey star every time one of these hexagons is cleared and then you can exchange it for rewards and hopefully you guys should be able to push up to a nine star light puppet if you're lucky uh, try and pick up aura stars that's what i try to do as well because you can use those for bonuses because they actually can be used not just this event you can use them in other fantasy factory events as well so it's a good way of like giving yourself honey stars that can carry over but bear in mind normal honey stars do not carry over at all they're completely useless so aurora stars are the best way to have stuff that can stockpile forwards and why is that important well it means you can get further rewards so you could even potentially get a mysterious artifact chest or a glorious flag chest if you wanted those as a budget or free-to-play player. So that's pretty good for you guys if you're looking for a way to optimize your progress through here and use your honey stars wisely. Anyway, moving on down, we can go ahead and look at the normal value packages. We've got ourselves the standard stuff. You're getting 10,000, 5,000, 3,000, right? Double VIP experience in gems and then 1% of VIP experience coming through profit orbs. So that's really normal, right? Absolutely standard. And another thing as well, just want to make you aware of is these sweet lollipops. They're coming in, they're great, but do bear in mind the amount you get scales weirdly. You get 35 from the 100 package, so that's standard. But if you go down to the bottom, the $10 package is actually getting you three lollipops. So it's instantly just worse because they round it down. It would be three and a half, but they can't give you three and a half lollipops. So rather than giving you four, which would be super generous, they said, oh, I'll just give you three. So it's just kind of a blunder from them having an amount that doesn't scale nicely or fraction nicely. But it means that just be aware the top package is actually the best value. But also you have to spend 100 bucks to do that or 2,500 story gems, which is obviously a lot so just be mindful of that and um it's probably not worth it unless you really want to go in on this event that's your decision to do anyway let's scrolly wally back to this lollipop factory package real quick because i wanted to stress something if you see this times three from the snow moon privilege which by the way is this thing here which gives you rewards every time you use a profit orb or three honey stars it will get you a chance to get these chests now there's a few things we need to talk about these chests. First thing, this chest is giving half of what it used to, and it used to give cores, but it isn't giving any. But if you look, it's not a 200 chest, it's a 100 chest. So the halved resources is fine, and you're actually getting double the number of Transcendence copy chests, so that's also fine, but the lack of cores is sad. So if the cores were a problem for you, which they kind of are for me, um, yeah, it's, it's a bit unfortunate. As well, 200 not giving cores here, not giving sublimation. There is no 1,000 one like there was last time. The 1,000 one that gave sublimation was great. This, it's less so. It's still giving spiritual essence and stellar shards. It could be good if you need more of that stuff, but it's not giving a lot, right? It's not a lot of stellar shards. And the times three is only tripling the amount of stuff you've got, which is only really like crazy value if you're going deep in with honey stars and you're going mad with profit orbs. But if your account doesn't have a lot of profit orbs because you've been dried out from the last three of these they've done and 
you don't have a lot of Aura Stars or you don't particularly like the fact that this package, if you go look, doesn't give Lollipop, so it's not going to help you in the Lollipop factory, and you really don't want to use those Starry Gems to pick up a package that would give you Lollipops, then I'm really scratching my head on whether this is worth 100 bucks, right? Because the 2,500 Prism Star Gems are just worth 100 bucks, typically, so that's fine. You do get the 10,000 gems, you do get the 200 relics, and you are getting this additional double-up privilege, but I don't think most people are going to get value out of that. And I just really struggle, I really struggle with this, because my brain is saying, well, couldn't I just stockpile all my Profit Orbs until I can do the full 640, and then just buy the $100 package for that one event? and just get a load of these chests, because it seems that this event is not rare. So one part of my mind is saying, you're actually not going to get hurt too bad by missing out on this $100 package. But that's coming from someone who already has a lot of artifact chests. Bear in mind, the double privilege from Fantasy Factory might give you enough to go ahead and get an artifact chest from this. It also might not. Bear that in mind, because if you aren't hitting the lollipop level, right, which for a lot of people they won't be, like, I, I, I might not, right? I'm on zero out of nine. I'm starting this from fresh. And as this is not giving me lollipops, I might not hit the special jigsaw stage, which can be unlocked by doing nine out of nine stages and then giving me even more honey stars, which is a thing that happens. Go ahead and look at the VIP series previously clear this event. So, yeah, I might not actually make it to the mysterious artifact chest, in which case I'll be like, dude, what have I done? That was such a waste. I've spent 100 bucks, didn't get an artifact to show for it. This doesn't even contain the new artifact, which is a little irritating. And then, uh, yeah, you're pushing through. For what? For what reason? I don't even need new artifacts. I don't need anything. So for me, I'm, I'm questioning the $100 package. For some people, yeah, you might want to go ahead and grab it, but I don't think I'm absolutely sold. I may change my mind, but right now I'm reviewing it from a... It's not jumping out to me as the first thing I want to spend $100 on right? Other stuff we've got, we've got a soul contract, so this is great, it's where you can throw in six star heroes from each of the factions that aren't light and dark, and get a hundred contract story gems each time, so that's a nice way of just getting 400 contract story gems, and that's great, because it's going to help you free-to-play players in the Soul Awakening Gala, which is a way that every time you do an Awaken, you get an amount of points, depending on what level it came out as, and then actually those points will accumulate and get you rewards. 20 is going to get you a Transcendence Copy Chest, 40 is going to get you a Transcendence Copy Chest 5, which contains the second wave of heroes here, all the new ones that recently came out, so we got Freya, Hong Jung, Eos, Mark Man, so those are all the heroes from last year, basically. And then this one for 70 contains every hero, including Vulcan? No! Oh, why would they not put Vulcan in this? Oh, goodness. Okay, and then we've got this, which is an opportunity to pick up an artifact, and then, nope, this doesn't contain the new artifact either! That's annoying, so thanks DH Games for that one. And yeah, I'm probably just going to get flags when I hit this. And then finally, of course, we have Essence Sublimation, which is good, which is nice. It's a way to improve the skills on your heroes. Is it worth using a bunch of Starry Gems to do this? As a free-to-play player, if you've got contract Starry Gems, yeah, I would do this. I would go ahead and push this only if you've got enough. You're probably going to need a comfortable... To get to 150, you're going to need at least probably 2,000 to do this. I mean, if you think, right, the the... The average points you're going to get is probably an E+, plus. so that's 5 points. So if you think 5 points, you might even need 3,000 contract story gems. But do bear in mind that you are going to get double retiring bonuses for all your E's and D's. So I think 2,000 is a comfortable number, some people might be able to do it less, some people might even need more. But if, yeah, if you've got 2,000 contract story gems, I I'd probably come in on this and be like, yeah, I'm going to test my luck, I'm going to see if I can do this. 2,500 might be better, but yeah, 2,000 should be safe. Good luck to you guys if you are going to go try this as a free-to-play player. Let me know how you do, and I know there's going to be some people out there in the comments section go, Oh, I got an 80! Good for you guys. Well done if you are able to get that lucky. Heroic Miracle is pretty decent. If you don't know what this is, you have to do three five-stars in the light faction, three in dark, five across all the other factions, and if you do all of that, you're going to get more lollipops, you're going to get scrolls, you're going to get armor, you're going to get profit orbs, all solid stuff, and of course, if you get it all done, you get yourself a mark man. This should be super easy for most accounts. The one thing that budget players will struggle with, especially if you're a new player that's very, very fledgling to the game. I know there's a lot of you guys that have recently started the game again, or are actually just new players straight up. Yeah, light and darks will be the thing you struggle with. It's hard to get them. Do bear in mind, though, you can pick them up from the guild. So one place you can grab them is the guild store. 
you can pick up five stars here for 9,000 of these guild solidus. So that's pretty important. Don't use guild coins for this, though. Don't be stupid. And other places you can get them, if you've just got them lying around from, let's say, if you're really lucky, you could have just had, like, elite copies lying around from rewards. That's pretty helpful. Don't forget, as well, from the glory challenge, you do get this opportunity to get a chest. That could help. Imminent chests help. And uh, the profit tree, actually, if you go ahead and do profit orbs this event, and uh, you go take a look, the Profit Orb rewards are actually giving us not just four stars here, but you do get for 40 points and 50 points, that's a Divine Spirit and a Dark Spirit. So that's one more light and one more dark. You also get yourself soul symbols in here as well, and the other rewards are Vesa and Azrael, so two Transcendence heroes there. Definitely seems like the trend for DH games is just to give us Transcendence heroes in Profit Orb events. Pretty decent, not going to complain about that. And yeah, overall, things look pretty solid for this event. Do I recommend free-to-play players go and use their profit orbs? Absolutely not. There's very little value for it. You might go, ooh, but I can get one of these chests. I mean, look at it, dude. It's 15 Master's Toolboxes. Is that worth it? No. Save your profit orbs for Valentine's Day. That's most likely going to be a huge profit orb event that gives you an artifact. Or even sublimation. That'd be quite nice. Maybe it'll even give you the new artifact. We just have to wait and find out. And that's going to be literally in a month's time. So hold your horses for that one. I might be wrong. That might not be a profit all event. Just depends what DH Games plan on doing. I expect it will be because my prediction is that Chinese New Year is going to be two weeks long and that will push the event cycle to five weeks away, which of course will land on Valentine's Day. So just be mindful that it's very likely Valentine's Day is profit orbs. So save your orbs. And uh, yeah, if you're a spender, I actually, I'm going to save my orbs as well. I don't think there's a reason for me to use them. And uh, that, again, is another reason why I'm really questioning going in on this lollipop factory package. Because I won't get much out of that times three. You could say the starry gems are worth it, but I don't know. There's other times I can pick them up. And I've got a lot. And you could argue it's faster A-tiers for me so I can get more of them, but it's 100 bucks. Hmm. And I think that's just the summary of this event, really. The big thing for spenders, though, of course, they're all going to chase each other in the Soul Awakening session. They've already, they're already still going. Look at this. 958 points. What's the point? What is the point? Just awakening and awakening and awakening and awakening just to be on this leaderboard? Dude, I bet you a lot of these people are going to get pushed down. It's going to be very brutal for some of these peeps. They're going to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on story gems only to not walk away with the S tiers or A tiers that they want. Because only 20 people across, right, iOS and Android are going to get an A minus from this. And I promise you, there's a lot more than 20 whales. So good luck to those folks. And I wish you the best. Hopefully, folks, you guys find this event interesting. There's got to be something in here for you to enjoy. Maybe you're just a free to play player who's going to coast through it. That's fine. Maybe you're a spender. Maybe you're not. That's okay. Next week, we've got the Mysterious Chest event. Just have gems ready for that if you want to use them. We've got wishing coins. That's giving Garuda. So that's going to be very funny noob bait. More on that next week. And as well, we have the treasure hunter labyrinth, which is just sky labyrinth. So that's going to be pretty fun. Maybe they'll throw in other stuff here as well. They seem to be doing that a lot now where the event preview doesn't cover everything. So you never know. We might end up with something interesting. We'll have to wait and see. Either way, hopefully you enjoy this event, folks. They've fixed up a few other things in the game as well, just to make things look a little smoother, but I'm not going to touch on those too much. But yeah, they are actually... No, you know what? I will. I will touch on this because it actually makes me happy. Look at the galactic tree. They fixed the buttons. It no longer clashes with the text. So it says upgrade, star energy integration, awaken. So that looks really, really tidy. So yeah, happy days. Whilst we're here, have I got an egg? No, no, I don't. So yeah, good check. Anyway, folks, there you go. That's the event. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Hopefully you guys can enjoy that and find something to get some decent rewards. Maybe you've got a lot of contract story gems and you can actually enter the Soul Awakening Gala and get yourself sublimation, an artifact, and maybe even a guaranteed B- hero from one of those stones. Let me know if that's something you're going to do, especially if you're a free-to-play player. It's great to see you guys making progress, especially with contract story gems. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, happy island.